Hey guys, this is the hike to Taft Point and the Fissures. Now, fissures aren't, well, these fissures aren't named after the medical condition. Rather, they're big cracks in the granite. You can see one right here. And there's some bigger ones that I'll show you in a second. Um, but it's a really nice hike. It's uh, just over two miles. It's downhill, so you're going to have to save some energy to go back uphill. But when you get here, you get to see the fissures and then also Taft Point, which is a overlook right over there. With all the great views you'd expect. And there's also another little overlook uh, a little bit down from there where you can get more great views. So if you want to do it, go to hikingguy.com where I have a full guide, including parking information. But otherwise, here are the turn by turn directions. All right, so the hike starts at the same trail ad that you use for Sentinel Dome. And that's off of Glacier Point Road, which is sometimes closed in the winter. But it's real easy. You're just going to go straight down from the trailhead and parking area. You'll see this sign here. And we're going to make the left towards Taft Point. Right goes to Sentinel Dome. And you can do that hike as well. I have that guide on hikingguide.com. These are good ones to do together. And after a few minutes, you're going to kind of descend down into the forest and most of this hike is shaded until you get to the very end by Taft Point so that's nice and the forest is beautiful there is a little stream crossing it's usually pretty docile as you can see and also pretty easy to hop over here I'm going to keep going straight and I wouldn't say this is all downhill there's some ups and downs it's not too bad now the one trail junction that we hit right here uh, as well marked you can see there's the standard metal Yosemite sign and there's a trail going back there towards Glacier Point but we're going to keep going straight downhillish through the forest here towards Taft Point now after rains this one section here can get really muddy and sometimes you have to pick your way through a mud pile so having hiking shoes or waterproof shoes kind of helps here but on that day it wasn't too bad and you can see once we get out of the forest here, there's a descent down towards Taft Point. You can see it right here. This is going to be the part you have to climb back up in the end. But you go down and you can see there's also some kind of trail splits, a little different ways you can go here. But in general, the trail is well marked. Just don't go too close to any edge and you should be fine. And right away, you're going to start seeing some of the fissures, which are going to be off to your right here. And here's the first one. And some of them are really dramatic. Some of them are a little more wide and just look like big cracks in the rocks. Uh, but again, this all comes from erosion and from the rock expanding as it comes up to the surface here, the granite. Here you can see another one. And again, just be careful as you get close. Some people get really crazy close to take pictures. Uh, people do fall here, so be careful. And as you get closer to Taft Point, the fissure starts to get a little more dramatic. Here's a neat one. You can see there's a bunch of debris clogged in the middle there. And you're going to start getting nice views into the valley. There's Taft Point. And that's where we're going to head. And then there's one more dramatic one as we get really close here. It's got a couple little rocks stuck in it. At this point, we're almost going to be there. There you can see the fissure. Obviously, you're going to watch where you're going here. Make sure you don't fall into any of these and just be careful. But after this one, you're going to come around and you can see Taft Point there in the distance. Now, Taft Point actually has a guardrail. It's a small one. I mentioned uh, I wouldn't probably bring kids here. People do, but I wouldn't. When you get here, you're going to get some beautiful views into the Yosemite Valley. There it is. You'll see the road down there. People actually base jump off that rock straight ahead of you. Somebody lost their life here doing it. So it is not to be taken lightly, obviously. But get your views in, and then we'll go down to the other viewpoint. There's a kid, a guy with his baby on the edge. But we're going to go down to the, the right here to get to this other viewpoint. And again, there's a lot of little trails. You're just going to pick your way through the trails here. Stay away from the edge. And there's some views straight ahead. It's usually pretty windy here. You get some views to the west here if you go straight ahead, which are also nice. The El Capitan. But we're going to go kind of once we come around here out to the next outcropping. And there's this really cool stone sitting on another stone here. But you can see, again, more viewpoints. No guardrail here. 
um, more edges. So again, it's not a, not a super kid-friendly place, but there are kids here. But once you're here, you get nice views into the Yosemite Valley, El Capitan, the falls, and everything you could ever imagine. Beautiful views. So that's the hike. It's a fun one. Once you get done at the fissures, you just hike back the way you came and uh, give yourself some energy because there's some uphill on the way back. So just a heads up. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link to the full article right under the video. And if you enjoyed the video, if you could do me a favor and give the little thumbs up click, uh, little thumbs up button a click, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. But otherwise, Taft Point and the fissures Definitely a lot of scenery and a lot of beauty for a very short hike, so give it a try. See you guys.